Hi, this is Scott Hanselman, and I'm running Windows 10 Technical Preview Build 10.049. This is the build that was released to insiders today, and I've got the changes for you right now. So as you can see here in the corner, this is 10.049, but in fact, this is all about Project Spartan. Project Spartan is the new browser. It's not Internet Explorer. You can actually see in the taskbar, I've put in Firefox, Chrome, IE and this if you click on this IE and we'll go to about Internet Explorer this is IE 11 okay but this build is the first build where the insiders are going to see this guy this is Project Spartan this is an entirely new browser now I have no doubt that things are going to change and there's going to be some way to keep these browsers separate but I'm learning a couple of things about this browser right off the bat First, you can actually mark up documents and edit them and send them to people. So, for example, if we hit my blog, and oddly enough, there's a couple of weird CSS things. I noticed that my blog, my title is off to the left. Uh, the ads uh, appeared off to the right somehow. There's a couple of weird things about this, uh, this browser, but I'm still learning. If I click here in Make a Web Note, the little edit icon, this pops up. Now I can actually use my finger or a pen and mark this up. You can highlight something. Okay. We can erase, we can go and clip, but then I can click this icon. This seems to be the, the new universal share icon. If I hit share, there was a moment there and it, it basically took a snapshot of that screen. I can go and email it, tweet it, send it around however I want to that web note is then uh, sent, sendable. So this means that someone could potentially you know, mark up a website or if you were going to share a, a website with a friend, rather than just sending them a link, you could circle a picture or correct a misspelling and then send it to them. So that is new. Um, I've used things like this before with, uh, there was a, an application called markup.io, uh, but uh, this is built into the browser. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of there. The other thing is a built-in reading mode. Now IE11, what they called Metro View or Full Screen View, included this as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and just hit another website and I'll show you what it looks like in Project Spartan. Let's click on this article. And you see this icon that's gray right now. Yep, you see how it just turned black. I can click on that and now I get Reading View. And I can even go full screen and basically you know it's very similar to what you see with things like read it later uh, or instapaper bookmarklets like that but again built into the browser this right now is going to IE but in the corner here it says you have new apps that can open this kind of link do you want to use Project Spartan as your default so I'm gonna go ahead and pick Project Spartan and that's gonna be my default web browser now and then the search automatically sends me there. A couple of other interesting things I've noticed when I click on the dot 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 you've got all the usual things like zoom there's a full screen button here uh, but then also F12 developer tools oddly enough when you click on that opens a new browser window and it appears to be the F12 developer tools that we're familiar with from IE 11 uh, which makes sense if we assume that these were somehow uh, written in HTML themselves. So those F12 developer tools are very familiar. And these are nice tools. They include all sorts of great stuff like performance and memory enhancement. So developers, I think, are going to be very comfortable. It's going to look just like another browser. Now, when we click Settings, this is what comes up uh, right now. I can pick Custom Sites, Block Pop-ups, Do Not Track, in this build, for some reason, smart screen is turned off. The other thing that's interesting here is that this, what I mentioned before about Cortana, have Cortana assist me in Project Spartan, turned on but grayed out. So it is not clear to me what Cortana can do in this version of Project Spartan. Hey, Cortana. Let's see if Cortana is listening. So you see how I asked, I said, hey, Cortana, and it did not pop up. I can actually turn that on. There you go. See, it's not on by default.
So here, hey Cortana, do I have anything on Saturday? Hey Cortana, what's the traffic? Hey Cortana, what's the traffic like on the way to work? Hey Cortana, tell me something about yourself. That's cool. So now let's go over here. Hey Cortana, search for movies in Portland. Hey Cortana. Interesting. Hey Cortana. Find me movies in Portland, Oregon. Find pizza in Portland, Oregon. Pretty early stuff, you can tell. It's often it doesn't work, often it doesn't answer, sometimes it's just confused, dislike. Do I have any appointments tomorrow? Do I have any appointments tomorrow? Do I have any email? I'd like to browse the web. Am I talking too fast? Hey Cortana, do I have any email? Hey Cortana, go to Google. <laughs> That's funny. Hey Cortana, tweet this for me. So right now it looks like it's just calling into Project Spartan. I can only assume things are going to get better. So it looks like build 10.049 is really a build to get you used to the existence of Project Spartan, to get you testing on it, probably to get web developers working on it. Uh, so this is build 10.049 and the word is that builds are going to come faster and faster in the coming weeks. So things are starting to happen. Please do subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of great information here, not just build to build upgrades, but also videos to show your parents how to use Windows 8. I've got videos and playlists on how to use Microsoft Word. So I hope that you explore my channel and tell your friends. Thanks.